and yajong to each and every one of you and happy asian american pacific islander heritage month today i'm going to be showing you my mom's all-time favorite stir fry that she would make for us growing up as kids and this is her chicken and ginger stir fry this in the mon Lane dialect we like to call it kaka ki ju ka kaka refers to as chicken ki means to stir fry and ka is ginger. In the Hmong culture, you can typically find this stir fry being made with pork, what we like to call um, but today I'm going to be doing the chicken version. This is super full packed of sliced ginger because my mom love, loves ginger. So if you are a ginger lover, then this stir fry might be just for you. So I wanted to share with you how to make it. It's really easy and simple to make as long as you have all the equipments and ingredients to do so. So with that being said, let's just get to it and I will show you how to make my mom's chicken and ginger stir fry. Let's go. Before we start stir frying, let's gather and chop and prep all our ingredients. So here I am using some whole chicken thigh with the bone and skin on. I just took the meat off and just dice it into bite-sized pieces. And also save the chicken skin, chop it into smaller pieces, and we're gonna fry this up to give it really nice and crispy. For the herbs and aromatics, I have one medium onion that I chopped some fresh chili peppers if you want a little bit of spice and lots of ginger so i'm using quite a lot of ginger today because my mom loves it and for those who don't really know how to take care of ginger i will show you here i like to peel it with a spoon and just take a piece and take your spoon and kind of peel off the skin so i prefer doing it this way so that you don't waste a lot of the ginger and once you peel off the skin with the spoon it should be nice and clean like this and just give it a good rinse before you slice it so for my mom, she likes to julienne slice these. So it's pretty thin cut matchsticks size. So it's all up to you. You can cut however shape and size you like the ginger. But other than that, it looks like this. And we're using quite a lot. So I'm using this weight out to be about maybe a cup and a half to two cups of julienne ginger. And for the herbs and aromatics, I have some chopped cilantro, some chopped green onions, and lots of minced up garlic. For the seasoning, I have some salt, some chicken bouillon, and some oyster sauce. So everything's prepped, let's start stir frying. In a good non-stick pan, we're going to add in the chicken skin. And add in about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt just to season it. And we're going to cook this on medium-low heat just to render out most of the fat and get the chicken skin nice and golden crispy. And this should take you about maybe eight minutes or so. Just keep stirring it as you go so that you get even cooking. And it should look like this, nice and golden brown and crispy. So we're gonna take it off the heat and put it through a strainer to get rid of any excess oil. So in the same pan, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of the chicken fat and drop in the chopped up chicken thigh. Go ahead and season it with some salt and some chicken bouillon. And put the heat to high and allow the chicken to cook and get some coloring on it. For my mom, she likes to cook the chicken until most of the liquid from the chicken has reduced and a lot of their fat has rendered out. And the chicken should have some good searing and coloring like this. So the chicken is nice and cooked. We're gonna make a well in the center and add in the minced up garlic. Let it sit for a minute or two to allow it to brown a little bit. and then incorporate it with the chicken, give it a good stir. Then add in the ginger and the chopped onion and cook it for about two minutes or so. Then we're gonna add in the oyster sauce. Mix it really well. Add in some minced chili pepper if you want it a little bit spicy. So this is good. The chicken is nice and cooked. The ginger and onion are cooked properly. I'm gonna turn off the heat. 
and then add in the green onions and cilantro and just mix it until the herbs are nice and wilted and that's it go ahead and taste it for seasoning so this stir fry will serve around six to eight people depending on how much per person eats so the serving makes quite a lot go ahead and make the half recipe if you know you won't finish this amount other than that to finish this off let's not forget the chicken skin that we cooked up earlier and we're just gonna crush the chicken skin over the top and that's about it for this stir fry the crispy chicken skin really gives this stir fry another level of complexity texture and flavor so i really really recommend crisping up the chicken skin and topping this stir fry with it this stir fry is best served with some fresh steamed rice and because this stir fry is quite savory and aromatic and a little bit spicy from the ginger, I like to pair it with some what we like to call gojacho or just a plain boiled vegetable soup. Um, in today's case, I'm eating this with some boiled cabbage, which is simply just cabbage boiled in water without any seasoning. And this is a really great palate cleanser because this stir fry can be a little bit greasy, but sure is super delicious other than that this is for today's video hopefully you enjoy and give this one a try 